in this in this series of video lecture on quantum theory today is the last one application of wilson small field condenser rule for rigid rotator for particle in one dimensional box and the simple one dimensional simple harmonic oscillator first um, i may start with the already already first one the mole hydrogen atom already been discussed and now it is the second second application and this second application is the rigid rotator rigid rotator rigid rotator here here uh, it is the dumbbell shape body consisting of two spheres of mass m1 and f2 and these two spheres are connected by a rod of very thin width let us let us write let us have a picture of this one and this is another uh, sphere and this sphere is having the mass m1 and this one is m2 and and this one is the axis of rotation these two spheres are rotating along this axis along this axis and this one is the center of mass center of mass center of mass of this whole system uh, if we consider this uh, distance and this one is r1 from the center of mass and this one r2 from the center of center or this sphere m2 r2 is the distance from the center of mass and the total total distance uh, of these two centers of the spheres is equal to r equal to r and this uh, r naturally r equal to r1 plus r2 the center of mass is decided the center of mass is decided by this lever rule by this lever rule and this lever rule is m1 r1 equal to m2 r2 and from this by simple calculations we can find out that r1 the distance of this uh, sphere of mass m1 from the center of mass is equal to m2 divided by m1 plus m2 into r similarly r2 is also equal to m1 divided by m1 plus m2 to into into r for this system it is a free rotation uh, free rotation means uh, the system take any position during this rotation no sort of uh, restrictions or obstructions and the potential energy potential energy of this system is equal to zero means while it is rotating this uh, length remains uh, fixed <coughs> solar field uh, solar field wilson solar field rule for this system is integration over one period of motion and here in this case this uh, angle of rotation angle of rotation phi phi angle of rotation angle of angle of rotation uh, angle of rotation uh, phi is changing is changing periodically periodically during this rotation and, and this phi is changing within the within the range within the range 0 to 2 pi so the wilson swalfield condition rule for this system the integration over one period of motion and this uh, 
conjugate variables of this phi is p phi and p phi into d phi equal to n h where n is the quantum number whose value is 0, 1, 2, 3 etc. So here p phi remains constant. Uh, here p phi remains constant during this motion as p phi equal to m v r and this all these three are constant and so p phi you can take outside of this integration and this limit is 0 to 2 phi and d phi equal to n h n h whenever this one is integrated and this limit are inserted uh, we get this p phi equal to n h by twice pi. It means that the angular momentum of this uh, rotation, angular momentum of this rotation is quantized and it has some, some discrete values h by 2 pi, 2 h by 2 pi, 3 h by 2 pi and no, no value in between the two. Now the, we, we, I may proceed to determine the total energy of this system E equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy but potential energy is equal to 0 so it is the kinetic energy only and the kinetic energy for these two bodies we can write half m v1 square m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square v1 and v2 these two are the linear velocities of the particles of, of the spheres of mass m1 and m2 and if we convert it uh, into the angular velocity then omega r1 the square plus half uh, m2 omega r2 the whole omega will remain fixed omega the angular velocity omega these two omega are angular velocity and angular velocity remains fixed while it is rotating so <coughs> that means omega will be the same for the two bodies so we can write a half uh, omega square into uh, m1 r1 square plus m2 r2 r2 square and this term within this bracket is called the moment of inertia i moment of inertia i i equal to moment of inertia moment of inertia of the system <coughs> so this will be equal to half i omega square or we can write i omega i omega whole square divided by twice i and this i omega i omega is called is actually the angular momentum phi so this one equal to uh, phi phi square divided by twice i we know now this is a total energy total this p phi is quantized and it has the value this one putting this value here we get this energy equal to n square uh, h square divided by 8 pi square i i is the moment of inertia and this i is the moment of inertia and this moment of inertia actually equal to equal to mu r square mu r square mu is the reduced mass of the system uh, m1 m2 divided by m1 plus m2 uh, we, i have told earlier that mu actually is a measure of the contribution of have this uh, two bodies in this rotational process 
this uh, this is analogous this uh, energy is quantized and this system is analogous to the rotation of this uh, dielectric molecules the, and in that case this uh, thin rod is uh, substituted by the chemical bond this bond this uh, this rod is this rod is replaced by this uh, bond and these are the two atoms The third application of this uh, wilson sommerfeld quantization rule is particle in one-dimensional box. And this particle in one-dimensional box we can pictureize like this one, this way. And, and this is x, x is changing from 0 to L and here is the particle and this particle is having this mass M. And this particle is moving to and fro motions. And the potential energy, potential energy equal to zero within this box, and 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 the outside of this uh, box, the potential energy tends to infinity. Here also, potential energy tends to tends to infinity. Means this particle cannot move out of this box. But particle will remain confined and constrained to move along this x-axis with the length 0 to L. This is a similar this is similar to the say suppose one frog one frog is walking to and fro motion uh, with on this ground level of this uh, of this well and uh, and the and the frog the potential energy of this frog, potential energy of this frog equal to zero when it remains in the ground level and moving to and from motions. But but uh, but this uh, frog cannot go outside of this well as, as mgh becomes h is very high for this frog to overcome. So mgh is high, frog will remain confined within this well. So this is a similar. Uh, analogous picture uh, of this particular environmental box and this is why it is called sometimes potential well potential well potential well this is very important in our our chemical chemistry in some cases there is no force acting all except this uh, particle while uh, collide with the wall of the box it rebounds with the same velocity it rebounds elastic elastically and so move, having the same velocity and for this box the sliding uh, the wilson sommerfeld quantization rule is that x is changing so the conjugate variable of this x is linear momentum px and and for one cyclic motion this is also repeating periodically this uh, particle is moving from 0 to l and, and l to 0 and then it is one period of motion so it is it is px and dx equal to nh where n equal to 1 2 3 4 3 4 5 excluding 0 so zero is excluded for due to some uh, reasons. When x n equal to zero means means this uh, integration will uh, disappear. And, and while we put the limit zero to zero to zero to two l zero to two l the length for one period of motion and and p x is constant as no force is acting uh, so. So the velocity uh, same remains the same, mv also same and this uh, dx equal to nh. When it is integrated and then the, the limit is inserted, we get this px x component momentum for this particle within the box will be equal to n 
h divided by 2 i is l. So this is one test. If we consider the kinetic energy, kinetic energy of this type particle, then it is, if we consider the total energy, it is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. But potential energy is zero. For this case, potential energy is zero, while this particle is moving to and fro motions within this length. So this is only the kinetic energy, kinetic energy and it is equal to Px square divided by 2 i is m. Px is quantized and having its discrete values, putting this value we have this E equal to n square h square divided by 8m l square n is the mass of this particle l the length of this box h is the Planck's constant n having the values 1 2 3 4 so energy of this particle in the box is quantized having certain discrete values we can also picturize by this energy levels this is by we can show this uh, this is suppose n and this one is n plus 1 and in between these are the two energy levels and delta e equal to uh, e n plus 1 minus minus e n and this is equal to twice n plus 1 and e square divided by 8 m l square by this we can show for macroscopic bodies, macroscopic bodies, macroscopic bodies, bodies m is high and, and this quantization m is high and so delta e tends to 0 and quantization is vanished. Uh, again l is when high. Uh, the length of this box is very high then also delta e tends to zero and quantization varies so quantization arises uh, when this length of this box is small that means uh, more the localized of this particle uh, hard or more prominent is the quantization this is analogous to the to the molecules, suppose pollens, if we consider the pollens uh, whose youngest member, the butadiene, butadiene CH2, double bond CH, single bond CH uh, and double bond CH2, this is butadiene. And, the, and there are total four pi electrons. Here are the two ele pi electrons, these pi electrons, here are the two pi electrons and these four pi electrons are moving to and from motions within this within this chain length within this chain length L is the chain length of this box so this formula this formula we can also apply to this butadiene and get the value of this wavelength the butadiene can absorb for this excitation from N to uh, N1 by means of absorption of photons for 3D motions for for 3D motions, uh, 3D 3D motions of this particle in the box, uh, we have e equal to uh, n x square and divided by l x square plus n y square divided by l y square plus n z square divided by l z square and 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 h square divided by 8 m nx ny nz these are the quantum numbers along this x y z axis and having each having the values 1 2 3 4 etc lx ly lz it is the side length along this x y z this is all about the particle in one dimensional box and I can show here the particle in one dimensional box is energy is quantized and it has a great impact uh, in chemistry for like this pollens etc.